Sonic the Hedgehog, or as is known by some people, Sonic 06, is a very thought-provoking piece. I would even go so far as to say, philosophical. From his themes of destroying religion, the harms of tampering with time flux, and the legality of anamorphic humanoid experimentation and mating, is one of the most well-crafted pieces of modern culture. It is truly a modern epic of mythical proportions. Concept 1. Don't worry, this review will only contain minor spoilers, as I would recommend everyone play this. I would also recommend enjoying a bowl of warm and tasty spaghetti no. while you play. I played with my constituent Carter for the majority of my playthrough, but he mostly just annoyed me and angered me for he would interrupt some of the best scenes with guttural noises. Immediately, you are faced with force <clears throat> fascist and forced capitalist ideals, which of course are obstruction that even Sonic cannot outrun. This part particularly reminds me of when I was a child in that cold, dark room and was forced by the black man to acquire currency for outside time. You can see Sonic in multiple scenes jumping through hoops, akin to the hoops that society makes you jump through in order to make an honest living, or simply just to eat, which is something even biogenetically engineered demigods such as Sonic even need. You can jump off a cliff to attempt suicide, but Sonic does not lose a life for this. I take this as how even if you kill yourself to escape, you will simply be thrown back into the game. An inescapable game. Our lives. Of course, which the overall point of this game is. As I said before, Sonic kills religion, destroying every fragment of it. You can even see in the most basic of level design that it highlights the linear nature and monotony of modern life. Sonic faces multiple enemies, from robots to the creatures of this world, who have turned against Sonic like they have humans in real life. But that would imply that any of this is real. The scene where Sonic is gripping onto the big whale's fin can be taken as Sonic trying to reconnect with his animal brethren, but even they see him as a freak and an outcast as he is not fully human nor animal, something I feel most gamers can relate to. And all of this is within just the first level. At the end of each level, you are given a grade on how you performed. All of us are graded, and all of us are judged, even when trying to do the right thing. But through all of this, Sonic stays strong in his quest for love and female. Sonic is someone I myself relate to here. I stand up for the little guy like Tails, earn money, cut the red tape, and love women. But I am not yes. to the end of the game yet. Yeah. Gamers, if we just make it to the end, like Sonic <laughs> says, we too may even have a woman someday. A princess is. that is strong to help you through the harsh days. That will disavow her religion just like Elise does when she aborts the demon baby inside her then becomes the very body of God, and Sonic kills him in a truly epic fashion. Elise then gives Sonic a kiss, the best reward you could ask for. But I am getting ahead of myself here. That's a big spoiler for the end. Now, let's get on to the second concept, shall we? Part 2. Why is time not to be tampered with? Later in the game, my second favorite character, Shadow and the Beautiful Rouge, encounter a guy, Mephiles, who tricks them into going forward in time to a hell-ridden apocalypse. He also tricks Silver and Blaze, two assholes, into thinking Sonic was the cause of this. They then go back in time to kill Sonic and Tails, thus destroying his legacy. This is a truly unforgivable sin that Sonic Team is very aware of. All of us gamers just want a legacy. From being the best streamer, the best pro, the highest scorer, or simply the best reviewer, which I hope to be my legacy. The forces of evil combine here, that being the government, represented by Eggman, and religion, represented by the two evil gods, to misconstrue Sonic's legacy, painting him to be the villain. This can be seen as either a warning not to trust media, a plea for separation of church and state, or my theory why time travel in the wrong hands can lead to no good. Remember, we have one timeline. One timeline to take our stand. To stand like Sonic does. If we allow the timeline to be tampered with... What's to say for our future? Sonic 06 shows the repercussions. 
if we do everything done this part like four years. right, make all the right choices, we can be turned into the bad guy. And we will stay stuck those... in this loop of mis uh, misinformation without even knowing that we are for all eternity. We can learn through the digital to understand the physical. Who knows? Maybe Sonic Team knows something we don't. Maybe they know that parallel timelines already exist and are trying to warn us. Would you have sex with a Sonic? Would you allow this creature to impregnate you with its seed? I know, this is a loaded question, and you may need some time to think about it. But please, leave your answers in the comments below. I hope to create a dialogue around gaming and the questions it poses. We need to reconnect as a community. And as a community, I would assume most of us would say no. But why? Why would we let Sonic do all the dirty work for us? Kill our enemies and save our lives, but not allow him the most basic of rights, such as reproduction. Is it because he only has one eyeball? Or because his skin is blue? Or because he isn't like you and me? Deep down, all of us have prejudice. Deep down, all of us are scared when we confront something unearthly. But he is not unearthly within Sonic 06. He converses with citizens like normal, is able to shop at stores like everyone else, and is even somewhat of a player. Sonic Team is creating a world here, an ideal one, where everyone is treated equally, no matter how big their hands and feet may be. Where the people aren't divided by each other, but instead by the big brother watching above. By the evil forces we all have become blind to, instead choosing to gawk at those we have deemed freaks. Sonic was created by the government and then disowned by them. Similar to myself when my family gave me up to instead be trapped in a world of lies. But uh, that is a yeah. video for another time. Picture this, will you? You're walking down a street, let's say coming back from your local Comic Con, with your EVA Unit 1 limited figure in your hand, when BAM! You collide with something and it shatters it to pieces. That which you collided with is the breast of Rouge the Bat. Mm. You collect yourself, bashful and nervous, not even caring about your Eva anymore. Rouge is staring at you. I'm sorry, she says. Listen, I'll take you out for lunch to repay you. Hell yes. Be honest. Would you say no? Of course not. You would be a gentleman and treat the lady. Maybe you would even get an extra reward later. But let's not be too perverted. And, along, and all along, you knew she was a genetically engineered bat creature. So what's so wrong with Sonic kissing Elise? What's so wrong with him loving yeah. a human? And what's so wrong with him being created in the first place? We gamer, <laughs> I'm sorry. We gamers can be seen as genetic freaks too. Our reflexes unnatural, our brains faster than most, and our insight unmatched. The reason we can't get girls is because of prejudice that others might have shown against Sonic. Or us too, like Sonic. You understand. Sonic Team recognizes this yes. and asks it to change. Standing up for gamers like us. Concept 4. What could all of this mean for the Sonic movie? Now I know I didn't explain this before, but I wanted to take a look at the implications of the upcoming Sonic film and how it ties back into Sonic 06. Sonic 06 is packed. It's a long game with a lot of twists and turns. And I'm not just talking about the level design, insert troll face, but it doesn't waste a single second with all that time. Films can't be 30 hour epics like this game where you really get to step into the big red shoes of the blue blaze, but they would be... <laughs> <laughs> but what they do have is mass appeal. Children, who may not have ever even played a Sonic game, will be lining up to see this film. Parents alike, with their minds already made up that what's going to be another Goofy Kids movie. But what if they use this film to pose all these <clears throat> philosophical questions again? What if they went that extra mile and changed films? Forever. <laughs> yes, there are some films out there that can change people and really mean something, such as The Dark Knight, video coming soon, 
or taxi driver, but those can't be shown to children too, at least not now. I personally think the Sonic movie could be amazing if they go the right direction. Let's say Sonic is an incel, a down on his luck guy like the rest of us, and that's why he lives in a cave, but oh boy, when he comes crawling out, or running I should say, he will show the world what it means to be Sonic. Someone who's misunderstood. A hero of the people. Who can finally give gamers the voice they need. Just like Sonic 06 did for a new generation. Where did you even in get conclusion, the Chaos Emeralds? that's why Sonic 06 is not only a masterpiece of gaming, but one of the most important the games game. you could ever play. It is similar to My Little Pony in a way. It teaches morals, teaches us love, and teaches us how to be human. Though through a not-so-human protagonist. And humanity now is precisely what's wrong with this world. I'll see you next time, gamers. I've been Danny Fandom. See you in the next revolution. Stay epic.